experiment half wave excitation write down the name of the experiment half wave rectification experiment and uh, again you can say half wave rectifier experiment half wave rectifier circuit experiment okay why it is called half wave rectifier circuit experiment because you know it is a, it is a full cycle i mean one full wave okay we are converting uh, we are taking only half of the total wave in outside uh, the output the rest portion and the negative portion is absent okay <coughs> but if that is why it is called half wave but for full wave we will see that all positive portion is here again negative portion is converted into positive over here okay that time the negative portion is missing for half wave but for full wave negative portion is present that is why it is called full wave rectification and this one is called half wave so our today's experiment is the half wave rectification we will not convert this portion into this we will only take this portion at the output okay if we see if we can see you know look look that is 0 degree okay that is 90 degree angle and that is 180 degree and 270 degree and 360 degree so one full cycle completes up to 360 degree okay all one full cycle is the angle of one full cycle is 360 degree okay so we will our so up to 360 degree let it start from here 0 to 360 degree is here okay 360 degree is here so in this this is up to 180 degree the positive cycle so we will we will get the output will be only up to 180 degree the wave shape and the output will be only 180 degree but from 180 degree to 360 degree the negative half cycle will be absent okay and again from uh, this there is the zero degree of next full cycle and there is the 360 degree again it is from 180 degree to 360 degree is absent so for each of the cycle okay for each of the cycle only the positive portion will be appearing at the output and negative portion will be absent what my point do you have any question why it is called half wave rectifier no this is a wave a full cycle okay of 0 to 360 degree but out of that full cycle only positive portion of the that and that portion has got a positive portion i mean that cycle has got a positive portion and a negative portion okay so out of these two portions only positive portion will be appearing at the out but the negative portion will not be appearing it will be absent at the out yeah. that is why half of the total because this portion is equal to this portion so combining this two is one so this is one half and that is another half so we are we are, we are only uh, having one half at the output but the another half is absent and that is why it is called half wave rectifier that is the wave and half is present at the output and that is why it is called half wave rectifier do you have any question yes. and, and if the negative portion we can appear the negative portion at the output if we can do that that time it will be a full wave rectifier and that uh, the full wave rectifier arrangement is different okay so now we will now draw the circuit diagram of half wave rectifier okay so what is the circuit diagram for half wave rectification we need what an ac power yes we need an ac power okay so let's draw an ac power source that is ac power source and an ac power source has two terminals that is the phase and ground that is single phase ac power okay single phase ac power that means phase to ground that is the phase okay and that is the ground gnd this portion is called phase and this portion is called ground okay so phase to ground so that is our ac power and if we connect this ac power to the oscilloscope we will see this sort of wave shape okay alternating wave shape okay then we need a diode 
the diode will be connected with the phase of the AC. You know, the diode we had we had our last experiment conducted like that was the p type and that was the n type. These are the positive uh, particles, I mean ions inside and negative inside. Okay, so that was our diode. Okay, so certainly diode is symbolized like this. So this portion is p type and this portion is n type. Okay, so this is the p type certainly. So the phase of the AC power is connected to P type. Okay. And so we have come from the phase of the AC to the P type. And then the N type will be connected to, to a resistor. Why resistor needs to be connected? Because we will take our output, I mean DC power across this resistor. To take the output, we need a load. Okay, and that load is a resistor. Okay, yeah, load resistor. So the resistor is connected back to the ground. So now our cycle is complete. Okay, it starts from the phase of AC power. Now it is AC power, but the output we take across the resistor will be DC power. Okay, so if we take the output from these two terminals, we will see a wave shape like this. We will observe a wave shape like this that is the half wave rectified output and this i mean this output is not a pure dc this is not the pure dc okay this is called pulsating dc because it has got an ac component in it this wave has got an ac component in it okay so it will be a pure dc so pure dc is looking like a straight line this is the pure dc that is pure dc and the meter, this meter can measure not the QTC, not the pulsating DC. So after it is rectified, as long as the wave, side is like, uh, wave shape is like this, this meter cannot measure the DC power, but DC voltage. But if it is filtered, for filtering purpose, we will add a capacitor, bypass capacitor. Okay? This this capacitor allows AC component to pass through that, but restrict the DC component. Okay, I mean it is not allowing the DC component to come through it. Only the AC, it is allowing only the AC. So what happened? There is a mixing of AC and DC over here, and then only the AC component is bypassing through this and coming back to the negative. Uh, and as AC component is passing through this, only DC is remaining, and the DC is going, the pure DC is uh, like passing to the output. What my point? So that is why capacitor is connected in. Now, for filtering purpose, to filter, I mean to remove the AC, pulsating AC component. What my point? Only the pure DC, that time we will get only the pure DC. But first we we'll forget about the filter circuit. Because filtration is not part of rectification, we will add filter circuit later. First we will convert AC, I mean this wave shape, into this wave shape. Then we will remove this AC component from this. Uh, I mean, pulsating this will make it pure DC. What my point? Okay, now our circuit is complete. Now let's come to the instrument. I will introduce the instrument. This is called oscilloscope. Okay, it has got a screen, it is like a television. It has got a screen, and in this screen, through this screen, we will observe the wave shape. Okay, oscilloscope has got some uses. Okay, oscilloscope has got some uses. What? We can observe the wave shape in the oscilloscope, some signal, okay, uh, whether the signal is uh, noisy, distorted or anything, we can observe through the oscilloscope. Distorted signal is looking like this, okay. So uh, this signal, if it is distorted, it will be looking like this and it will be noisy. Say for example, you are talking over phone and uh, it creates huge amount of noise, okay, if, if your sound is not clear. Even. So that time, if we connect that, uh, I mean, signal with an oscilloscope, we will find this sort of distortion. What happened? We will we'll, we'll, uh, we'll guess that our filtration has been damaged, filter circuit has been damaged. If we add a good filter, if we, uh, uh, I mean, repair the filter circuit, then it will be again a good wave shape. Then there will be no noise, okay? So this is one of the, uh, I mean, this is the use of oscilloscope. Again, we can observe the amplitude. Amplitude is this. 
this is the amplitude from this portion to this portion again from this portion to this portion this is the positive amplitude and this is the negative amplitude if say for example if the value of the voltage is 5 and this is negative 5 so that is amplitude is 5 0 to 5 okay and the maximum value that is called amplitude okay so we can observe the amplitude we can observe the frequency frequency is the number of cycle per second okay that is a full cycle how many full cycle in a second okay that can we observe through the oscilloscope again we can observe the modulation demodulation and that is that is for the communication engineering okay modulation that means adding up with two signals say for example we are sending sms and that sms has got a message signal sms has got we are sending sms to our mobile and that sms has got a message signal like this that is our message signal and that message signal is added is modulated with the carry, carry signal that is the carry signal that carry signal helps the message to pass through the uh, wave or whatever you say okay so again the receipt the mobile that uh, where it will be received the sms will be received that mobile will demodulate that message signal from carry signal only message signal will be appearing there you got my point so that is how modulation process is done in communication engineering okay so now the oscilloscope this is oscilloscope for or oscilloscope probe using this probe we are taking the signal okay how the signal is taken this has got a base probe i mean base portion base lead and a bypassing lead can you see the bypassing lead okay this bypassing lead is connected to the ground okay when we connect it to the dc that is the dc dc has got a positive and negative battery positive and battery negative okay and AC has got base and ground. So for AC, we will connect this bypassing leg to the ground. And for DC, it is also ground or negative. Okay. So this portion is always with the ground. Okay. It is bypassing and it is to the ground. And this portion is always to the face for AC and for DC to the positive. Okay. What my point? So that is the use of oscilloscope probe. That is the connection. So, for example, can you see that is the our AC power, AC AC power output. Okay. So this portion will suddenly will connect to the face. This is the face and this is the ground. So this will be connected to the face and this will be connected to the ground. Okay. Again, this is our AC, uh, DC power supply. It has got positive and it has got negative. So I certainly will connect this portion with the positive and this portion as the negative. So. Have you understood yes, the connection? Yes. Okay, fine. So this oscilloscope has got some channels. Channel one, channel two. Okay, like this. If we uh, for now we will observe our input AC in this oscilloscope and output DC in that oscilloscope. But we can observe both input and output in the one oscilloscope if we use several channels. But that time it will look very small. So, but we have as we have several oscilloscope, we will observe input in this and output in that got my point okay so how the probe is connected probe is connecting like this so now this probe is connected okay okay so could you please turn on the power insert this insert the power okay. this is also practical experiment connecting this is also sort of practical so we are connecting all this. So why can I get the current? Okay. Uh, okay. So this is our oscilloscope. We will take our input through this oscilloscope. Okay. Oh, there is no connecting wire. Okay. 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 Ok